in the back of her car <laughs> is Taylor, her car. I thought, you know, we don't want to do a boring interview where we're just sitting in a room somewhere. We want to be taken around in your car on your promo day. Taylor, how are you feeling? So good. <laughs> I'm so excited. We've had a bit of a crazy day. You know, it's very busy, so I've had to get you down in this little moment that we have in the back of your car. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very happy that you're joining me, you guys speak to me today. Now, um, I've got to say, this whole um, whole interview, I might be clicking my fingers away because when I was watching your video, when I was watching, uh, listening to your single, I kept finding myself clicking and also going, yes, how very 2016 of me. So um, I just felt that this might be happening for our interview. And feel free to click away as well. If you feel necessary, go for it. <laughs> So hello, my name is Amika Iza and I'm sitting here with Taylor. Now, girl, I've got to say, I always love in um, uh, interviewing new acts because everything is brand spanking new that you say. Like, if you interview like Beyonce, then it's like, yes, yes, you love your husband. Yes, you have a cute baby. Yes, girls are on the world. Haven't heard that one before. Um, <laughs> but you, everything you say, I'm going to be like, oh, really? Wow. So, let's get into it. Um, you did go to see Beyonce recently, didn't you? Yeah, at Wembley. That was life changing. Is she, could you say she's one of your idols then? Vocally, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's a powerhouse. Well, yes. On, I mean, she is slayish behaviour, so should yeah. we start off our interview on the subject of slayish behaviour? Oh, Good place to start, right? Um, right, so, slayish behaviour. Now, watching your video, watching you, watching, you know, stalking you on social media, yeah. you <laughs> show some very fierce behaviour, very, you know, female boss behaviour. As you are a female boss, what would you say is your definition of a female boss and what have you come to do to change in the game today? Um, I think my definition of a female boss is like being confident, um, comfortable in what you wear and just slaying everything you say and backing it up. I think, um, I think what I've brought to the industry is raw talent from Birmingham. <laughs> I think, um, and just badass and not really caring what people think or say. Yes, uh, yes. Kicking fingers, clicking fingers. She got it. She got it. She got it. <laughs> right. So, and I'm gonna say, um, from stalking you, my favourite thing that you have said um, is, "Good girls go to heaven, bad girls get to go backstage." Um, can you explain to me this little quote of yours? Oh, I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's just a badass thing. I kind of. Yeah, I think I do stand by it. Just, yeah. I can't really, I can't really say anymore. What goes, <laughs> goes down backstage stays backstage, eh? Hey. <laughs> so tell me, Taylor, so you're on your musical journey. When did you begin your, your musical journey? When did you embark on this? Um, I'd probably say when I, left, um, when I left high school. I started to do like open mics in Birmingham. Um, and then I branched out to YouTube. And I've done like a few channels based in Birmingham now. <laughs> And I started to promote myself on Facebook. And somehow, my Van Dahl, my manager now, she saw it and she just took me under her wing. Wow. Oh, so just like that then? Yeah, just like that, literally. She invited me down to some studios, um, Labrick Grove. So that, and that was like my first, like seeing a big studio mm. kind of thing. So I was, yeah, I was really humble and so excited. Wow. Well, that's really good advice for a lot of people who are singing then, is just to really put your stuff out there and you yeah, never know what like could happen. Do it yourself kind of thing instead of, getting everyone else to do it for you totally right i love that now um so is it okay that we call you um you're known as a birmingham diva then diva in the best possible way kind of yeah. like beyonce's i'm not a diva yeah. gosh she's she's getting a lot of love beyonce in this yeah. interview we'll give her some clicks we'll give her some clicks <laughs> but yes is that is that okay for you to yeah, be known no. as I'm, I'm so happy that i'm representing birmingham especially as like a, a young talent I think it's really cool and it's time that Birmingham gets like a look in. Yeah, yeah. the love it deserves. Yeah. Can you tell me three things about Birmingham? Because I'm a London girl and I don't know much about Birmingham. Yeah. I've been to Rainbow Warehouse, Rainbow, Rainbow. Yeah, yeah. it's like one rave that I've been to. But yes, tell me all about it. Three good things. Three good things. Um, it's really chilled, I think that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the clubbing scene is really, really good and our accent's cool. Yeah. Yeah, all right, there we go, three. <laughs> Raves are good, raves are good. Um, right, so um, should we go into your new single? I don't know, maybe, let's do it. So um, 
your new single, Call Me Danger. Now I've got to say, I'm kind of mad at 1D Mag because they did an interview with you um, and they stole my opening. The opening they said is, uh, her friends call her Taylor, but you can call her Danger. I was going to say something, if you want to call her Taylor, be my guest, but some might call her Danger. Um, Unfortunately, they did go first, um, but we'll just pretend like that never happened. So, <laughs> Call Me Danger, which is a fantastic, powerful, confident 90s kind of flair to it. I mean, I'm very happy that, you know, the 90s have made a comeback. I mean, thank goodness we can wear bunchies now. I love it. <laughs> so, yes, so tell me everything about the track, the vibe, tell me all. Um, well, I'm, I kind of grew up on like hip hop, pop and R&B and a bit of like um, Caribbean music, like dancehall. So I kind of wanted to really put that into one track and just kind of hopes it works kind of thing. So yeah, and um, it worked. <laughs> Definitely worked. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy though because we wrote the track in, um, in one day, like lyrics, production and everything. So it was kind of a vibe from the start really. Wow. Well, it looked pretty vibesy. Is that your first video then? My first video, yeah. So the morning of that video kind of must have felt like Christmas to you, really. Yeah, I was so pumped. Like, I didn't go to bed. I went to bed really late. I woke up really early in a good mood. How long did it take you? To get ready? Oh, well, yeah, to get ready and the video. <laughs> well, to get ready for the video, it didn't take me that long. Just put makeup on or dress up. Maybe like an hour. Okay, gotcha. Maybe less, maybe less, I can't remember. And you had your girls in the video I saw? Yeah, my two girls from Birmingham were really, really close. It was crazy that I got to have them in the video because they've saw me from the when I did an open mics in Birmingham. So it's kind of crazy for them to kind of experience it with me. Oh, they must have been so excited. Yeah, it really it was, was Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> Christmas was. came early. Yeah, pretty much. Well, you definitely were all looking very fleeky. How would you say you met make yourself feel the most fleeky like mine's like i have to get my nails done i have to wear heels i have to put on some trap music and a big boss in fur jacket then i'm feeling fleeky how would you say you feel your most fleeky um when you're feeling good girl i think when i've got my ring on oh okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm, re I'm really a big fan of like, like big rings and like, i think yeah it's just one sense to now Yes. Well, I'm feeling them. I'm yeah. feeling them. They're nice. I'm a ring person as well, as you can see. <laughs> Vibes in here. <laughs> right. So, tell me. I mean, why did you want to go this for this as your first single? You said that you did it a long time ago. Why was this your first? Were you, did you decide through other music, or did you know this was the kind of movement that you wanted to have on your first single, the confident boss lady kind of thing? Yeah. No, I think I really did want to go for this one only just because I felt like it had all the um, elements of what I kind of grew up on. Okay, cool. And I kind of wanted to enter the industry really like a, um, just being me <laughs> instead of putting out something that, that, that's not really me or something really sweet. I just wanted to just go badass with it kind of thing. And if they can take it, then they can take it. I think we could take it. Yeah. But my question is though, I want to know how dangerous you really are. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I mean, so I've devised a few questions just to see how dangerous you really are. Seeing as the single is called, call me danger, call me danger. <laughs> so are you ready? Let's see how dangerous Taylor really is. So there's a thing going around about clowns. Um, their clowns are just popping up all over the gap. Um, so you go home, you look out your window and there's a clown sitting in your back garden. Just harmless, you know, he's just sitting there, but you're sitting in your back garden. Do you confront the clown? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not afraid of them, so it's, I'll just see it as a joke, run up to it, pull the mask off, maybe. Right, okay, so she is definitely dangerous in that. Okay, moving on. Would you walk under a ladder on Friday the 13th? <laughs> no. No, okay, all right. I'm really, oh yeah, I'm, I'm against, yeah, I'm really with the suspicion things like black hats and stuff. Okay, so even any other day, really, not just Friday the yeah, 13th. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, now, in London, we have a problem with foxes. Um, they're everywhere. I mean, they're, they're literally everywhere. Um, if you saw a fox, like say in your in your back garden he was eating one of your socks that was on the the yeah. washing line outside would you shoo away the fox yeah i would only because it's happened before in birmingham oh is that fox in birmingham it's oh, a problem it's a real problem yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right okay she's definitely dangerous okay um now would you go bungee jumping i would yeah okay i'm scared of heights though but i would i love the thrill yeah it's just, uh, once you get to the top you'll be fine yeah but, and then you yeah, dive exactly. down and you'll yeah. be fine. <laughs> Close your eyes. Okay, what about shark cage diving? Mm. 
There was a video that I just saw where a guy, they were filming a guy shark cage diving and the shark actually went into the cage and they had to quickly bring the, the guy out. <laughs> Before I told that, would you have done it? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> she wants to live for the second single. <laughs> right, okay, and last question. Now, your outfit is very fleeky. You're on your night out. Um, you're looking pretty fleeky. It's freezing outside. It's winter, it's nearly Christmas. Do you wear a jacket? Oh, no. oh. oh my god, no. I have, you have to keep the outfit. <laughs> There's no point wearing a jacket so you can just carry it in the rain. And That's I, true. I think because I'm from Birmingham, we don't really feel the cold, so it's, it's yeah, it's yeah. Nice. yeah. No jacket. Well, I can definitely say they call you danger for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now, um, let's go back into the music. So, um, your style, because you are a new artist, I want people who are just encountering you. What would you say your style is? Your style of music. Style of music. Um, I'll probably say it's pop, hip hop, and R and B merged together. Okay, pretty much, yeah. And I'm moving from style to style. What is your clothing style? Um, tomboy. Oh, tomboy sexy. I like that. I like that. Okay, now um, obviously you, you're UK artist. UK music is hot on the scene right now. Thank goodness. I mean, it always has been, but even more so now. Um, who would you like to collab with? Okay. Yeah, I think he's really cool. Um, really like we'll him. give him a click. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll probably say Enemy UK as well. Okay, cool. Well, I did see you as I was stalking you, as I like to do that, um, that you have been in the studio with Ruda Mental. Now, please, honey, <laughs> clicks all over. How was that going? What happened? Uh, it, well, they approached us, no management. Um, I guess they kind of heard the buzz over Call Me Danger. Um, it was crazy. I was so scared at first because they're such a big deal, but they're so humble and they just made me feel right at home in the studio. Wowza. Do you write your own music? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Did you write Call Me Danger? Okay, girl, click! <laughs> click, click, click! <laughs> Now, as I said, I love interviewing new artists because, you know, you really don't know, like, you know, it's a completely new field. Um, so tell me, is there, can you tell me a random a secret of yours that you think we would, you, we would like to know about you? Random secret? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, uh, when I drink alcohol, I like to throw up and drink more. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think we all do. <laughs> Sometimes you got to carry on the party. Yeah. I don't have a um a limit. A limit. Wow, you party hard, that's for sure. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Right, okay. Um second question. Uh what would you say is your biggest misconception about you? You know, people always think that you're one thing and actually you're like, No, actually I'm I'm not like that at all. What do you say you have any misconceptions about you? I think just my age. Oh, okay. Yeah, people always think I'm younger all the time. And how old are you, Taylor? Twenty three. Twenty three. Like me! <laughs> the best age. 93? 1993? 93. Yeah. 93. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, now, of course, we've got to come to the end of the interview, unfortunately. But Taylor, you, I'm sure you have a lot of stuff going down for you. Can you tell me what we have coming up in Taylor's um, world? Coming up, I have a few singles, um, more videos, and hopefully next year touring and like doing festivals and stuff. Ooh. Well, I cannot I wait, wait for all that. So to all the fans, people that are, you know, looking into you, loving you, do you have any message for them? Um, be yourself and be confident. Taylor, thank you for joining me. I'm Amika Iza in the back of um, Amika. E well, it's not really Amika Iza's car, but it's yeah, your car. It's my car. It's, it's your work. car. We've been doing a promo run of radio stations all day today. So instead, boo you, James Corden. It's now Amika Iza's carpool karaoke with Taylor. Woo! <laughs> thank you so much for coming to join me. Stay fleeky and um, click.